I was 32 years old when I found out that I had stage two invasive ductile carcinoma. And um, I, I was in the shower, I found a lump. And I was thinking to myself, well, that wasn't there yesterday. So I was, I was concerned and I went to um, I have my friend that works as a nurse practitioner look at it. And she was concerned, like very concerned. So she um, called and had imaging set up for me to go and have imaging. So I went and had imaging and they said it was highly suspicious of cancer. And I was like, hmm, I, I just don't think that's true. There's no way I'm young, I'm healthy, so I thought. Um, so I went the next day to um, the breast center and um, they did a, um, a imaging there and then took biopsy. And so I remember going home that night and I um, said, well, I mean, I, they're gonna call me tomorrow and they're gonna tell me I do not have cancer. So it's gonna be a really good day tomorrow. tomorrow. But I got a phone call and they said, I'm so sorry. Well, my doctor said, I'm so sorry, Jessica, it's carcinogenic. And I was thinking, no, wait, what? Did he just say carcinogenic? He meant non-carcinogenic or benign. But it wasn't until he started talking about chemotherapy that I realized I have breast cancer. And I didn't know what to do. Like, I can't call my husband. He has a test tomorrow that he needs to study for. I can't call my dad because he's gonna be so sad. So I talked to God first. And um, I just remember feeling complete peace. You know, like complete comfort. I knew that God was gonna be there for me. So I, um, the next day I went to Dr. Barron and I sat down with um, him. He was absolutely wonderful, absolutely wonderful. He spent so much time with me and my family, um, probably about a good hour just talking to us. And um, I just remember he went over all the chemotherapy, um, how long that was gonna last, all the cycles, and how many treatments of radiation I would have, and surgery, and how long that wait would be. And I just kept thinking, wow, this is never gonna be over. You know, I just, I wanted to rush it. I wanted to hurry up and get everything over with. I wanted to be normal and healthy again. And I just wanted to get my hair back. Now that, um, surgery and radiation and chemotherapy is all complete, I feel amazing. Like, I feel better, honestly, than I did before I was diagnosed with cancer. Like, I have so much more energy now. I think that I'm eating better. Um, I just, I want to do more for other people. Like, I just, I know that I'm here for a reason and um, I want to play that out. So I just, honestly, I feel amazing. Yeah.